<laughs> it doesn't look healthy at all. We've got some examples of that in the talk. Oh. But this is this is and, and this is cheaper as well. I mean, you get a simple device like this for a few hundred bucks. Learn how to use it. You can go on fixing your face for ten years, whereas Botox, you know, at several hundred dollars a pop, and you're doing it two or three times a year. Uh, it's going to add up. So you know, it makes a lot more sense to have something which is safe, which is holistic based on the fundamentals of nature. As, as I said at the beginning, life is electric and electromagnetic. And these devices are super. Now we're in the hands of real experts that know how to use them. I'm signing off as an expert, okay? I'm an expediter. I'm a good talker. I can spread stuff, but I don't claim I'm an expert at microcurrent therapy. In fact, I'm always trying to help John and Nagy in. What should we do about this? So how do we fix that? And so on. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the first slide. Oh, well, okay, that's kind of it. Uh, say your piece about Botox before we move on. We're not in a rush to get through this. People are expecting uh, plenty of information, so you know we don't have to rush it. What else do you know about? Well, like you told me last time, I think, John, that Botox people are being sued all over the place for, for brain damage. Actually, you know, not just messing up people's faces, but actually brain damage. And it's hardly surprising, is it? Because botulinum toxin is one of the deadliest poisons known to man. Yeah. And it's always worried me um, when you take a a product like Botox, which is one of the deadliest toxins known to man, as you say. And we we expect that the people that deliver this product in you know in a great amount to all of the different practitioners that inject this Botox into people's bodies, we are mm -hmm. expecting them to have attenuated it just right. Because even if there is one little speck of the stuff that hasn't been attenuated being the most dangerous toxin known to man, you wonder what it would do to a single body. Right, now listen, you, I know you love fancy words, John. Attenuated is not a familiar word. Diluted, if they haven't <laughs> diluted it correctly, you're gonna poison yourself. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Stick to the English. <laughs> okay, uh, attenuated, I mean simply, taking the toxin and reducing it to a certain extent where it normally it would not cause any physical damage. If you took the toxin itself, it would definitely kill you right on the spot. And it would, if you put it into, a, into a, somebody's, some city's water system, it chances are it would probably kill that city off. It would. Yeah, I read somewhere a jam jar full of botulinum toxin could wipe out the entire human race, all 7 billion. There's enough in there to poison the whole 7 billion. That's how dangerous this stuff is. It's dangerous. Yeah, so you're giving a pistol to somebody that you don't know and you say, go gently now. Give <laughs> me the right amount, yeah. And shoot me on these slight bullets, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I mean, talk us through the process, as it says here, you know, it's basically removing wrinkles by, by paralyzing. I mean, what's the, you know, what's the uh, lo lo logic behind this? It's kind of a weird idea, isn't it? Really? Well, it is a bit of a weird idea, uh, because what you're doing is you're paralyzing them. Now, here's the thing. I know that if I didn't, I don't, it's not that I, I'm not in love with myself. Nobody's in love with themselves. Nobody looks in the mirror and finds themselves to be perfect. I think only in Greek mythology does that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think that once you, and they say that, once you come out of a Botox session and you look at yourself in the mirror, you feel much better. When I come out of a barbershop and look at myself in the mirror, I feel a lot better. But it, it, it soon passes, just by the by, in, in, in maybe an hour. <laughs> I forgot about my haircut. But the thing is, when you have a Botox injection and those little wrinkles that you didn't like disappear and they start reappearing again, you go, oh, my God, oh, no. I'm going to have to go in and get another shot. And then when they come back again, I oh, no, I've got to go back in. and take, I can't stand this because... I'm used to not having it that way. Right. 
So it's very. I it's use like that in maths. It's like addiction, isn't it? When you get drawn in, you have to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, and I think everybody knows. They've all seen the same movies that I have. That fundamentally, nobody really likes themselves all that much, even after the facelifts and everything else. And so often, people are just made to look so unreal. Yeah. I think we've got some coming up soon. I don't know how soon. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, this is yeah. so sad, isn't it? Because she's such a beautiful woman. And then she's made to look like something, some mask. From out of a Batman movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe, that, maybe it was made up for a part as a, in a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's she the met, met Ryan like Kylie before. Yeah, here's the ones I found. This is Kylie Minogue. has a lovely face on the left. I'm not saying she can sing, but her face looks lovely and relaxed. And on the right, she looks like maybe she's made out of plastic or something. Yeah, it's yeah. just not right. Yeah. Now, if we, the idea is to be able to, because this is just a short fix. This is something that you, you so shortly get addicted to, and it's very expensive, and it can be very damaging. It's like, what if I went in and had my, my jaw frozen to get rid of a toothache, you see? <laughs> yeah. Could I'm be. not fixing the tooth, I'm just getting rid of the ache. <laughs> yeah. And I'd end up chewing my cheek, and then what happens is that then your tongue has to re-educate itself to that frozen way. So I suppose really when your face is frozen, you're really having to look at it in a completely different way and react with it in a different way. I don't know. I don't know. think I would like the sensation personally. Yeah. Well, I, I remember a joke from John Rivers. I think I mentioned it. It's last time when she did this, you know, mimic this kind of one. Am I, am I smiling? Am I smiling? Because <laughs> <laughs> she can't tell. Because she can't feel, can she? She can't feel anything. No. Nothing moves, you know, so there's no way of telling whether you're smiling. No. Or... And women, women actually watch each other. Women are women watchers. Oh yeah, they, they don't do it for guys. They do it to put one up on the on the other. <laughs> they're sitting in an airplane and they'll lean over and they'll say, "Are you? Is that an, is that a Botox injection?" <laughs> <laughs> and you come back and you go, "Yes, it is." How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, the point is, it's very expensive, as you say, and there comes a time after which you can't get any further. Everything yeah. is paralyzed. It doesn't matter how much Botox you inject. And that's where, I suppose, the brain damage starts. You know, people keep pumping it, but there's nothing left to do. So just sooner or later, it starts to damage yeah. other things too. I don't know if you know, if you remember how many bacteria can, can fit onto one single nerve. Um, now, the toxin has that capacity to migrate along nerve fibers as well, and actually finding certain brain damage over periods of time. Of course, well, that's how ABs gets to the brain, of course. It tracks up, up the nerves. Very important. And as I said, in uh, you know, Medicine Beyond, uh, Patrick Stortebeck in Sweden showed that uh, bacteria migrate backwards along the nerves into the brain from tooth abscesses and other sort of foci around the head and so on. Very dangerous stuff, bad news. Okay, can you see this slide? Just run us through this. These are, uh, we've just about demolished Botox, but uh, anything we've not said? Well, Allergan are the manufacturers out there and they're fighting a lot of, uh, actually, uh, can you see the bottom of my slide? I'm not no, sure. No, I can't see it. This one, yeah, right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can see it. It's just uh, Allergan is fighting, um, actually, three major um, um, lawsuits right now. Yeah, millions and millions of dollars. And what they're doing is they're saying, we have all this, 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 this toxin around. We need to find other ways, other places to inject it. And so they're looking uh, for people with migraine headaches. And they're looking for different places where they can actually put it. Uh -huh. uh, the mind boggles. Okay, let's talk about microcurrent toning then. I didn't miss one out, did I? No. There you go. All right, you can do your science number. Uh, <laughs> go on then. Well, um, um, 17 years ago, I read a book by um, Robert Becker called The Body Electric, and it changed everything for me. And then on one of the pages, and this is, I kind of ripped the page out of my book and, or, or took a... <laughs> Took a, a copy. A, a you copy. Didn't, I don't I didn't allow you to. No. I mean, the word, the word in communication is ripping. And they rip that word. <laughs> yes. and, As in ripping a CD. Yeah. Okay. 
So what he did is he took matted, uh, matted collagen and put it into this little beaker with, with uh, uh, salt water and, and other electrolytes. And what he did is he passed an electric charge through the matted collagen. And lo and behold, the collagen all lined back up again like uncooked spaghetti strands versus a, a bowl of cooked spaghetti, you see? <laughs> and, I, and I said to myself at that time, oh my gosh, we, I mean, our bodies are basically collagen. It's our communication system as well. Chinese referred to it as, as a meridian system. And, and at action to rate, we're now able to trace the movement of, of qi or information along collagen fibers. This is extremely important because what keeps our face from going south is basically collagen. Right. Now, yes, an important point you don't think you quite emphasize, John, which is lined up collagen means wrinkle free, young, natural, fresh looking skin and tissues. Uh, and the squiggly collagen is no good to anybody. That makes you look old. So we'd like it lined up again, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. because when it, when it looks like a bowl of cooked spaghetti, you know, like, a, like noodles. <laughs> and of course, it is no longer passing information. Yes, that's the other point. Body's an information system, you know. Yeah, and of course, the two things are totally interrelated. If there's no proper communication pathways working, the okay. tissues are not going to be healthy and youthful and vigorous anyway. So it's all part and parcel of the same thing. Okay, are we done with this slide? Yes. Okay, next one. Uh, well, here we're showing it look, lined up collagen fibers. So, so obviously, the correlation between that pretty lady and, and the lined up collagen is that it keeps everything in place. So what keeps everything from going south is proper lined up collagen that hasn't been matted. Right. And electricity, and the electricity does that. So we're on a winner here. Let's keep going. <laughs> So in your face, you have all of these meridians as well. Meridians are actually channels of communication. They're actually major collagen fibers that carry information uh, throughout your body horizontally. And, they're, they're, and it seems that they have lined themselves up vertically up and down and carry information to and from the central nervous system, which is important <laughs> to understand uh, what is going on within the system and to carry that communication to 15 trillion cells that make up the standard body. I say standard because I imagine that some people who are a lot bigger than us will be more than 50 trillion cells, maybe 70 trillion cells. And on the and, uh, and the other thing that's interesting, if you look at this book, you'll find that in the face, you'll also find uh, certain organs and systems. Well, I've got this on a slide. I mean, by, yeah, all, means, by all means, let's have folks valuable. Yeah, there it is. But there, there you go. That's the same diagram, isn't it? Yeah, same diagram. All right, we'll talk us through the diagram. We'll come to the fact that everyone listening to or watching this webinar should get your book anyway. Yes. Yeah. Full. It's loaded with information about cosmetology. You can buy it on Amazon. We will tell you shortly, folks. I promise you there's a slide in there about getting that wonderful book. We've got it in our household. And you saw the good benefits on Viv. Wow. All right, what's this? Now, anybody who, who follows traditional Chinese medicine at all understands what this is. Uh, actually, all of the, all of the uh, uh, organs of the body are also um, in the face, in the facial features, facial features. For example, we'll notice that the gallbladder yeah, are these two areas, uh, and, and the, the lungs and the colon and the stomach are all impregnated within those collagen fibers. And whenever you stimulate that area, you're carrying the information down the complete fascial channel. <laughs> um, you used the word there, John, let me stop you. Fascial channel. Uh, folks, uh, fascia or fascia is an anatomical term. It means the kind of you know, white stuff that hangs around. It's not muscle, it's not fat. Uh, it's stringing it all together, kind of tissue. It's called fascia. When you when you get a nice, uh, you know, beef joint of silver side or something like that, and you find yourself slicing off the silvery fibers, that's fascia. Okay. And as John says, those are communication pathways, amongst other things. Yeah. And those communication pathways are actually electrically conductive. And when we stimulate them, they carry that information all the way down through the organs and systems. So you're really giving yourself a cellular makeover where what, 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 what uh, 
Botox, you'd actually be doing a local stim a local freezing or a, a paralyzing of, that, of the muscle. Of that, yeah, of that yeah. information. So, so if you, listen, I've not raised this with you before, I've just thought of it, but if you're injecting a horrible poison into the gallbladder meridian, that's not going to do the liver and gallbladder much good, is it? Mm -mm. I, I don't think it would. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense, let's put it that way. I'm sure it's not actually been studied, but I mean, what we know about communication pathways, you know, again, why would you? When we can transmit healthy energetic messages down those same channels. I'm sure if you if you present it, uh, if you went to see a traditional Chinese medical practitioner, an acupuncturist, and said, I have this needle full of Botox, and I'm going to inject it right onto that meridian or onto that, that channel of communication, uh, do you think it's a good idea? I don't. <laughs> I think most of us would jump off the couch and say, hey, no way. <laughs> okay, here's one hour of treatment that changed this lady's life. Look at that. I mean, that must be 60, 70% improvement, just one treatment. Uh, yeah, and, and somebody that we know very well, she, she's my sister in law. Uh huh. And well, if you look at that huge, great, like a groove down her face here, uh, leading from the left corner of the mouth, and see how much that's receded in the second picture. It's yeah, and, and I mean, if you if you take somebody who has already got tight skin, and uh, all you do is you, you pass it over, and the skin you won't if you didn't have a wrinkle, you won't have a wrinkle. Yeah, your skin yeah. will just be tighter, but you, it won't be as noticeable as somebody like my. I hope she's not listening. My sister. <laughs> <laughs> what are what are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances? Anyway, no, so let's raise a few points based on this slide then which is this is great you know but you don't do one treatment and bye bye and it stays like concrete for life do you this is a dynamic process you need to repeat it regularly but you know if you're smart you don't do it the way where you keep going to the doctor and keep getting a treatment and keep paying if you're smart you learn to do it for yourself and uh, and it will you know it's much much more efficient and uh, cost less financially but how often would you say well, the thing is, you see, if you have, if you have a, if you, if you look at it anatomically and you look below, if you have your superwoman glasses on or superman glasses and you look through the skin and through the muscle and through the fascia and all of this and you, and you look below, if you have, if you're lucky enough to be born with a beautiful skull, <laughs> beautiful convexities, we call it, and it gives you that, that wonderful, as, as we grow older, uh, if you don't, if you if your face has a tendency to get sunken, and only because the fatty tissue, the muscle, and everything else, that, and the collagen that keeps everything into place, starts to lose its elasticity and starts to droop. Now below that skin, we have muscle tissue, and to give a muscle a good workout, if I was to go to the gym, I would possibly need to go maybe every couple of days to get those muscles good and firm. And after that, I could go maybe three times a week or less or maybe once a week just to give myself a bit of a uh, exercise. So exercise is something that we have to do regularly. So you to a top-up. Once you get the effect you're looking for, uh, a regular kind of top-up. Yeah, a little bit of a top-up. In, in Diane's case, where you can see on the edge of her mouth, uh, this is an area where she would want to touch up on the edge of her mouth and along the crease that below her nose. So those are the areas for her that would that she'd say, oh, I, I just I need to spend a little bit more time touching this up. I might spend five minutes, ten minutes, and then I'm good to go to the party. I can go to the ball. <laughs> but she also her whole skin changed, didn't it? There was a there was a change in the dynamics of her skin. More you, blood flow. Yeah, more there. blood flow. It, it's smoother, a better color. So yeah. there was an overall with just this one hour, but. You know, she she was working every other day to begin with, and then she she now just maintains when she feels she needs to. Now um, the important thing here is when I say the hour that changed her life, I know Diane, and what she did is it gave her hope. When she saw that change, she started running, she started exercising, she joined the gym, she started eating better because she said, "I can reverse this aging process." Yes. That's wonderfully empowering. And as you say, you know, the knock-on effect. 
Uh, I'm just looking at her skin. I mean, her skin is so much better on the it right is. there than that yeah. right. It looks very worn out skin on the left. And yet, you know, within an hour or within a few days of treatment. Yeah, you, you can tell it's the same picture because you, you can look at the you look at the lips, the lipstick, the whole thing. You know, it's 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 her, it's just an hour later. Right. Okay, now John, we're gonna go on to to the color therapy. I'm not sure that this would be the right moment, but I did copy the the moment that uh, you know the, I put I put these in at the point you had them in your slideshow. So I hope you can just uh, you know work over towards what you want to say about these now. Let's uh, there's these next three images, next three slides. Okay, I hope I haven't thrown you. But <laughs> no, don't worry. I think I think uh, when we look at this, we can say well this is a bit of a recap of what we've said. First of all, that the lines, collagen fibers we we spoken about. And it stimulates the facial muscles that keep everything in place. And the, those facial muscles are going to keep you, everything from heading south. And if I was a surgeon, what I'd want to do is I, I'd make an incision. I'd go in and I'd tie those muscles up. You see, that would be a surgical facelift. Yes. But instead of doing and, and, and I remember there's a, there's a funny story about that where they say she had so many facelifts, she ended up talking through her hat. This guy's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what would happen with, by tying the muscles, there's no end to it. You have to keep tying it. So, and men end up shaving behind their ears. And, <laughs> and, it, it, and there's only so much you can do to stretch that. Yeah, okay, good. But when you are working on, on giving your face a, a workout, you're stimulating the facial muscles and they will keep that tone. Mm -hmm. So now go deep, it will stimulate those meridians as well uh, that we've seen on, on the picture of the book, which will affect the organs and the tissues. So again, we're doing a bit of a recap. And it does slow down the degeneration of collagen because we know a lot of sunlight and, sun, and sunshine and so on and so forth can cause, uh, can cause a certain decay of that collagen fiber. Yeah. And, it has been proven in a lab that we pass electricity through matted collagen and it lines it back up again. Now that, that, that's important to understand. Mm -hmm. And it will also build new collagen because what we're doing is we're increasing oxygenation. When you increase oxygenation by increasing blood flow, you're increasing oxygen to the mitochondria, to the cells where energy is produced and you're giving the possibility, the potential to build new cells in what we call ATP production. Great, okay. So, so the other, um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I knew the call was coming, yeah. That was a good summary, that's like. Oh, here we go, yeah. so uh, adding, so, you know, we're talking about passing microcurrent therapy through the tissues, uh, particularly the muscles to tone them. So what, what does color, how does color come into this? Well, the color is known, that, uh, color is also frequency. Yeah. Uh, and every cell has a, a, a color, has a, a, a receptor. With what we call cytochrome oxidase, which would be that cytochrome with the color. It actually is stimulated. So the cell is stimulated by color. Yeah. And, other, and certain colors, for example, um, Will, 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 will have an effect, a specific effect, like amber, for example, uh, will have an effect on the healing, which means it increases ATP production even more. And it has an effect on draining and detoxing the skin. It also boosts cellular activity and increases lymphatic flow. And that movement of lymphatic flow carries nutrients with it as well. And when you look at the green, it decreases uh, melanin production and reduces that pigmentation that we find in people in Hawaii or people in Florida. They talk about these pigment, the pigmentation that comes on when they spend so much time in the sun. So this the green is actually one of those colors that helps make that or fade that away. Right. Now this overlaps strongly with one of the chapters in Medicine Beyond, you know, where I talked about gem therapy. Emerald and um, sapphire Blue, blue green is very calming and soothing. It's great for inflamed tissues like eczema and arthritic joints and so on. Amber, I sort of think of carnelian, you know, that's very uh, orangey, very cleansing uh, and great with blood flow and so on. So there's a considerable overlap with what you're saying and what I put in Medicine Beyond, which is great. These are on similar ground. 
Okay, next one. So the wavelengths then are, are uh, because not everybody understands that, that light colors measured in, in nanometers in the 634s and the 635, 637, in that range of red colors. Uh, so, so that whether you're working with laser or you're working with LEDs, uh, uh, crystal LEDs, you're working at that high range of, of uh, uh, LED color that's going to be uh, perceived by the skin as mm -hmm. So the effects of photo, the other thing about photomodulation, um, about color, and also by um, the device's electrical output, is that anything that you will put on your skin after, if you have a real good beauty product, it will absorb it immediately. It's it prepares the skin to, yeah. to soak it in. Right, right. It's a good idea. Okay, so let's take a look at, at this. This is a named device, but this belongs to the Avatsia family, doesn't it? Uh, we... we um, we did. We don't get too many chances to participate in the in where an engineer, the engineering firm, come to see us and they say, uh, "What frequencies should we use, or what light colors should we use?" And uh, this was one of the things that we've had a chance to participate and add a little bit of of our own vanity about <laughs> about what a device, a, a skin device, should contain in the way of frequencies. I don't think it's vanity, John. It's just your knowledge and your in-depth skills, of course. <laughs> Who else in the world would you go and ask? <laughs> You're absolutely the person or the couple to go and ask this kind of detail. They've come out with a beautiful product, which looks a different colour, but otherwise looks similar similar to a Navaxia, doesn't it? It's a very nice piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, what we were looking at at the beginning was being able to get uh, even the case, the colours in the casing, uh, were pleasing yeah. colour. That, that women in general would say, this looks like a serious machine. And a good quality. Where nothing is, is a chrome-colored plastic. This is all pure um, surgical steel at the back. And, uh, when, and all of our material is all professional, high-grade medical quality. Right. I wish you could say that about all the devices. <laughs> However, I just want to take a minute here to make the point, because this is a promise to people. Uh, that you don't have to, you know, if you've got a device that's going to work, if you apply the same principles and follow the instructions in uh, John and Laurie's book. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you've got. This is the kind of bee's knees. But then, in a way, it really does this, doesn't it? So there are choices where, in fact, you get a lot more add-on. You know, you can fix inflamed joints or sore throats and all kinds of other good stuff, too. The, the famous one, of course, in this field is the is the scanner, the Russian scanner. Yeah, I can't remember what that stands for anymore. Our self-contained energo neuro adaptive regulation. You are one of the first people that has been able to spot that off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all hooey because they're Russians. They don't use English words. They don't know. No. <laughs> probably stands for you know Stroganov Khodorkovsky. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But, but some smart aleck gave it an English acronym. Anyway, you know, that was the daddy of the class, uh, and uh, I'm famous with my book. And it's a lovely device, and it works beautifully, so. I, yeah, I mean, I'm still so fond of that. Having said that, this one, which is the later one, better build quality, but I just couldn't get the hang of it before, before we moved on to the Avatsia. I used to love the old 98.4, whatever it was. <laughs> no, yeah, we we, uh, we 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 put a lot of these uh, this technology on the market starting with 201, 202. We were the first. We're actually acknowledged as being the first people to to introduce this technology into uh, North America, Canada, and the USA. Yeah, of that's course. People from Scotland. Uh, that's what got us together, of course. They yeah. in these early days. Here's another one. It's called the In Out. We're not saying any of these are good or any of these are bad. I mean, these are options. And if you've got one, it's fine. What, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you've logged on and you've already got yourself an In Out or a Dinus or a Scanner or similar, that's going to be fine. You can use those two. And you do have more possibilities, as, uh, as I said. This is one called the Dinus. Um, I think that's probably the least expensive in the class. So, you know, if you follow the idea, you get what you pay for. Don't 
they expect miracles. But that one is uh, that one's network marketing, I think, isn't it? Yeah, from the Ukraine. One of the problems that we had, uh, I mean, we 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 pretty well introduced microcurrent to the American market. Mm. But one of the problems that we had was that the, <laughs> the Russians, the Russians, uh, they hauled the plant out of Europe. And what we, we kind of impressed them with the need for CSA and, and that sort of thing, where we needed the ISO 13485 engineering standards. And this was required by the European market and the North American market. And before the FDA would even look at technology, they said, well, let's see your ISO certificate because this is your, you need that 13485 certification or else we won't even accept you into the family. So when we told the Russians that, they said they first started out by sending us a little roll of uh, stickers. stickers. Yeah, they told me to stick them on at Gatwick Airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you say? I so approved. <laughs> so obviously they didn't understand what, what the proper all. engineering technique was all about. Here's 20 devices and a roll of stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I just want to remark about a, a gentleman who I was a friend in, Palm Springs, John Pietras, who was certainly handling those, and I believe he still is a, a Dinas man. You might come across him, or you might have got a device from him. Now, let's just tell the folks about this one. This is a, a, a real buzz baby, this little one. It can do an awful lot more than just turn your face. <laughs> yeah, this, this one, uh, this one, we, we, we got a Wazia to manufacture this one for us, actually. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of our signature devices. Uh, same technology uh, as all of the other medical devices, um, but it had certain things in there that I thought were important. For example, 783 Schumann waves. Uh, what comes out of the ground, what's in the ionosphere, what our alpha brain actually works with when we're in a relaxed, open, focused mode where we eat, sleep, digest, assimilate is actually 783. When we're in fight or flight, we're in a beta frequency. And, and that beta frequency creates inflammation, creates inflammatory cytokines, and so on and so forth. And it's, it's, it's something that came up, which I found extremely interesting, is that if we could reduce the amount of inflammation in our bodies, we could extend our lives by 35 years. Mm, absolutely. And we start to understand that pretty well all chronic diseases have as a precursor inflammation and its harbingers of redness and swelling and pain and heat and loss of range of motion, you see. So what we were, were very interested in was, first of all, I needed a good, powerful anti-inflammatory program. So we put that into the, uh, into the uh, device called 121 Hertz with modulation, so it goes on and off and it really decreases inflammation. And now what we did was we also added the 350 hertz, which is for that all-out inflammation and acute injuries, uh, which is necessary to the healing process. But when it gets out of hand and becomes chronic, then we're stuck with that low-level inflammation that produces toxins that we give a name of a disease to wherever it migrates to. Uh, so we had the 783, which is the full harmonics. Then we have 15 and 30, which are really cool programs to be able to help regenerate tissue. So you see, everything that is below 100 is to regenerate. Everything that is above 100 is used to bring inflammation down, to put it out. And here's what I discovered with microcurrent. You cannot regenerate tissue if there's still inflammation going on. Mm -hmm. That's a fascinating discovery. Yeah. It is fascinating because it changes everything. Right. Let me translate a little bit of what John just said in simple English. <laughs> He's saying this is a very cute device with all sorts of biologically friendly signals that are designed to do various things like eliminate pain and quell inflammation, as you heard. And it's really quite amazing what it can do. You know, you can be looking at arthritis, acute injuries, uh, you know, pneumonia even. You know, I did a case of pneumonia just front and back of the chest. And the lady was done. She threw all her antibiotics down the toilet while I was there. <laughs> uh, these are, uh, devices are amazing. At this point, we've got some more slides to come. I just want to make the point 
that for a few hundred dollars, a very few hundred dollars, it will tell you, you can buy the basic easy lift face, uh, facelift module, the cosmetology one you've been hearing about. But for just a little bit more, you've got a device that will still do all the cosmetology, but will do, you know, sore throats, tonsillitis, arthritis, belly ache, uh, chest infections, uh, and all that good stuff too. So you might just consider that uh, it might be a good idea to just move up one degree in the model if you can afford it. Up to you, I would say if you're a practitioner, certainly consider getting a more sophisticated model. Having said that, John, you know, after the last talk, one uh, practitioner lady bought a few of these and decided to open a cosmetology clinic. Yeah, somebody, somebody mentioned tooth issues. Uh, now, tooth issues, what we're finding, and these were studies that were done on animals uh, in the Robert Becker period, uh, what they call um, non, uh, uh, consolidation issues in bone, where bones won't, won't heal. Oh, yeah. Right? Bone union was, uh, could be a yeah. big problem. Non-union, yeah, non-unions. Now, here's what they discovered was that and this is what even, even is accepted by insurance companies, that if you have a non-union problem with bone, you can actually use microcurrent to mend it. This is a big deal because bone is actually mostly collagen and hydrogen hepatite. Now, here we go. Uh, when we, we talk about jaw bone, we, not, we now know from the animal studies and the human studies that followed from the, eights, from the late 60s on that microcurrent actually repairs bone and is covered by insurance, you see. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is really cool. Um, so so um, the other thing that what you saw on the face of the device was 77 hertz on the pro sport device or the uh, Avasia Life device, that's important to mention because what we talked about collagen that keeps you everything in place. What, Scott, what, what happens with collagen is at some point when it, this is, it, it's great when it is hydrated. When collagen has water, it is water bound and has little tubules and water flows in and around collagen. It's totally hydrated. And when you pass current through it, of course, the water acts almost as a proton jump system. It carries information through the body. Now, here's what happens. What's the difference between scar tissue and that normally hydrated collagen? Scar tissue, uh, collagen acts as a conductor. And when it builds scar, the water-bound effect is abandoned in exchange for waterless collagen. It is no longer a conductor. It becomes a capacitor building electrical capacity all the way to one and a half volts. That 77 hertz that you found is the frequency that has been found that reshapes collagen back into its water bound, uh, uh, what would I say, its water bound? Uh, uh, well, it's water bound mode, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and uh, therefore it will conduct energy signals around the body better. And also the scar tissue softens and starts to break up, doesn't it? So it does. That could be incredibly useful. Okay, I moved on perhaps a little bit early, but I left this slide up. Anyway, let's move on. So what are these funny little glowing colored lights? Well, these are the, uh, these are the LEDs that we find fixed on the device. So when you're working on, your, on different features, you're actually getting the lights and the electrical stimulation. So this is the, the, the color therapy plus the... Uh, plus the easy lift plus microcurrent technique. Now, uh, just explain these two plates, John. I think that's the first time you've seen those. What are those? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, here I'm pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the middle is uh, is a positive plate, and the one on the or that does the circumference is actually the negative. So the, the, the current must jump from the positive to the negative. It's what we call a bipolar. It doesn't mean that. You're mentally sick. It means that, that electricity is actually, no matter where you place the device on the skin, it is actually going from, from positive to negative. So these, these are electrodes, basically, then. Yes? Yes. These are electrodes, yes. Okay, good. So, uh, back to the, you know, a bit more description, if you can, about the, uh, the value or use of the color additives that we've got. 
uh, I mean, we said this once, but let's say it again. Uh, repetition is the mother of yeah. learning, as they say. <laughs> So it activates uh, red then, uh, activates vitality, metabolism, and digestion, and stimulates circulation. Uh, this is what is known about. And we're seeing more and more color dynamics used in, 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 in the cosmetology. Uh, the great specialists and cosmetologists out there are starting to understand that color does that. And orange actually, actually will activate lung and thyroid gland. <laughs> Who doesn't need that to be adjusted? <laughs> it stretches the stomach and, st and stimulates building of new tissue. And one of the things that you'll understand when you're working on a facial, the first thing that women tell us is that they feel so relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've heard that. Feeling relaxed means that you are no longer in that, in that beta fight or flight state that makes everything go crazy, including the inflammation. But then you're back into a state where everything from your thyroid to your adrenals, your blood pressure, your blood sugar are coming back to normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I might just remind some of the viewers about uh, vagal nerve stimulation that we talked about in the big webinar we did earlier last year. Uh, if you've not seen that, you should try and catch up with that. Vagal nerve stimulation is just yeah. totally awesome. And what's amazing is that big farmers are already into it. You know, quite yeah, and, and one other little point, which I found quite interesting, is that, you know, everybody has these moments where they have built up, pent up, uh, everything from indignation to pissed off itis in their muscles and their face, you know, so they walk around with this. Not a pretty sight, though. <laughs> not good for the complexion. It is not good for the complexion, and people carry it on their facial features. Now, and they, they carry it into the muscles of their face. This is what the vagus nerve does. It actually, or the trigeminal nerve does. It actually helps you <laughs> keep the, the memory of things past. <laughs> now, one of the best ways to get rid of those past memories is when you pass the device over those muscles, you're actually almost erasing those memories at the same time. Mm. So if you want to neutralize built-up muscle memory, this device will do that. I had a lady that we, we saw when you were in, uh, remember when you were in uh, Comox the last time we did a training, I think. Was yeah. that a lady that was there? That was that. I showed somebody how to do this, and she, the next morning she came into the training and she said, oh, my God, John. She said, I fell asleep immediately right on the spot, and I didn't wake up till the next morning. And I don't know what has happened. She says, I feel so relaxed, and I, I, I can't get back into that stress state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm having to get used to this new relaxed state. Yeah, this is great. You know, in one of the promotions I sent out for this, I called attention to some paper that had been published trying to claim that uh, in some way Botox, you know, was a solution for depression. They didn't, they didn't prove that to any scientific satisfaction, but of course it did prove the point that if you change it you can stop it looking unpleasant, that you, your feelings will change automatically. Our point is you don't need the poisonous injections. The same thing will happen with a wonderful device like this. Very safe. What's the, I mean, the voltage is, is buttons, isn't it? What is it? One or two volts or something? Well, you can jack it up to a bit where it hurts, I think, but Nobody in the right moment would do that. It feels very comfortable. Somebody mentioned something about PTSD on the, on the screen. It just came up. One of the questions. And one of the questions, of course, you have the prefrontal cortex. Uh, it is very, PTSD is very involving because we're still trying to find a solution for, for these problems. And, uh, and of course, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, we think is, 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 in the old days, we used to call it shell shock. You're coming back from a war and you're, these memories are playing over and over again in your mind and your brain. It's almost like there's a disconnect from the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for, uh, for what is going on now compared to what was happening then. You have the central part of your brain that takes these snapshots of these horrible images, and the discernment part of your prefrontal cortex is gone on vacation and leaves you with nothing but these crazy snapshots. Mm -hmm. And, and most of these people are, have high cortisol levels, which shows a high level of stress. And they also have high beta, very high beta 
which is that fight or flight syndrome. If you ran 783 uh, transcranially for any period of time, which what they're doing in research now in neurofeedback is they're actually getting people to bring to raise alpha over beta and it's almost like you're bringing discernment back to your prefrontal cortex. So now the chief executive officer is home. <laughs> I'm back here. I'm in, back in charge of my brain. Right. Let me just point out to the people that you're actually talking about brainwave frequencies there. So beta, the high energized ways, you know, alert or even jumpy and over, over anxious. Uh, alpha is nice and calm and soothing, but you're well aware of your surroundings. If you go to theta, that's kind of a trance, you know, deep dreaming and trance and things like that. Delta sleep, of course, but the alpha, alpha is the cool, calm one. In fact, what's his name? Jose, Jose da Silva built a whole thing on going alpha, didn't he? Just training people to chill and just relax their mind into the alpha state. This is quicker than years and years of training. Okay, let's move just on. Just listening to your voice, I'm already back into alpha again. <laughs> You're very calming. You're calming. You're calming. <laughs> okay, so without lights? Or you can get it without the lights where you're getting the pure electrical stimulation. Of course, some are on a budget. They're saying, listen, uh, do I pay more for the lights? So can, if I can't afford it, it, can you get the version without the lights? Yeah, there is. Yes, the you, yes, you can. Yeah, we'll tell you the options uh, later. But you can see, small holds it in the hand and it's easy to apply to you know, specific narrow areas of the face. It's lightweight. Listen, it's easy to carry around, isn't it? You can take on vacation, you can put it in your purse. Uh, you know, if you were overnighting somewhere, you wanted a top up for any reason. Very, uh, a very handy device, very small size, but they, especially the Avaxia Life version, it has the same size casing, although the colors different. They're all the same size devices, yes. It packs a huge amount of punch for such a small device. Okay, who's this old boiler here? Well, look at this. <laughs> Your old mother of five. Okay, I think we did use this sequence last time. Anyway, this this is the lovely Lorraine you can see on the sofa. Yeah, if you take the glasses off, you get you get that. I am the same person. <laughs> well, prove to us that you're still looking good. Lean towards the camera for us, Dan. I <laughs> no, no faking, and you of course you do it regularly, don't you? You teach classes and things, so. Yeah. You probably do it more routine. I, I I hate it. I hate it. I everywhere I go, people ask me about my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I've been there. Yeah. All right. Well, we said we'd uh, we'd bring up the issue of the book. This book, Cellular Makeover. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, so you don't have to sort of memorize any websites or anything. Just go to Amazon and type in. Cellular makeover. Tell us about the book, Laurie. Why would people need the book? They have to have it, don't they? You can't. Well, it, it, it goes over a lot of things actually that will help you, but it, it also sort of at the at the back of the book, we go through all the different protocols. So you can just follow the picture. It's so easy to do. You know, it'll tell you how you work on the eyes, how you work around the mouth. It, it also explains the different things that John was explaining, like, you know, you're touching, you're working on the meridians, so you're working on the different organs and systems. So I find if I have a problem, you know, if I have a stomach issue, I'll work under my eyes, and I know that that's also going to resolve my stomach issue. I could go just straight to the stomach, but, you know, if I want to do a facial as well, might as well do it in, in you know, an easier, quicker way. So the book will have so many different tips that you can use for both the photodynamics as well as the straight standard device. So just follow the protocols in the yeah. book. And when I see well, that, so you were talking about being very precise just under the eyes. Uh, we're going to explain in a minute. There are extras, but I mean, one of them is little finger pads that will give you a very accurate contact, yes? Yes, so yes. Really there are different them. tools that you can use. You can just use the device on its own. Um, but the tools are nice. It makes it easy. With the pencil, you can get into the fine lines. With a little finger probe, you know, you can actually just smoothly work over the face. Um, you can hold, the finger probe is great to hold under the eye when you're dealing with the bags under your eyes. Um, mm -hmm. Dark circles under your eyes, use the finger probe there. 
a lot of people have very fine lines like on the forehead, either across or up between the eyes, um, the ones around the lips. So you can actually use this and just work in the little tiny areas and you can just either just wipe it on or you can actually go into each of the little grooves. I find that when people use this on the grooves up here, it really, you can see the results immediately. You know, within about three or four minutes, you can see the change. Yeah. Um, the Y probe is great as well, but you know, I mean, it just depends which sort of tools that you want, um, which will work best for you. The Can we explain the kits in a minute then, Laurie? That's mm. Yeah. The package is coming up. Let's just finish up the book then. Uh, as I said, find it on Amazon and make a note of the title there. Uh, I'm not seeing your, yeah. your name. You're not listed as Dr. Laurie at Amazon, are you? Uh, it's Dr. Lorraine Hache. It's on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how much is that going to cost? It's $29.95. Right. Well, that's great value for all the knowledge that's in it. And then for people who've already got a device, that's probably the, the, the obvious step for them. Uh, so let's take a look at what, you know, if a person wants to concentrate particularly on the cosmetology, uh, you have a, a free offer going here. So you get the book free if you get a device. As yeah. You've already got a device. Go and buy the book. 30 bucks is nothing. Huge uh, knowledge in it. But well, if you have a device... We will send the book as an ebook free, but we, you know, it. it not a real book. I mean, not a print book. Yeah. yeah. An attachment. Okay. Well, it looks kind of pretty with all the ribbons and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us what's uh, what's happening here. What's in the book? Well, in here you have the device, and you have a little pouch that you can keep it in. You have the pencil, the lead wires, and the little finger probe. So it's just what you were telling us, really. This yeah, is, so this is just to get into the fine detail of your facial architecture. Yes, yeah, so this one works by just placing it on your finger like this, and then you can move it around. Mm. And so, you can you can do the jawline. Right? Yeah, you can do the jawline. You can do down under even here. your nose. Yeah, you can do. And you've got a nice nose. Yeah, nose. <laughs> our, our daughter thinks her nose is too big, <laughs> yeah. so you know. <laughs> Transplant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> said, so, it, 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 yeah, it's my only feature that you have. Everything else is beautiful, like your mom, but you got my nose. <laughs> Everything else can be rescued. Everything's your mom. <laughs> uh, ah, I just thought, wait a minute, where's the, um, oh, Lord, you know, click to the, web, the website link. I'm missing. Anyway, this is the kit, yes? Yeah? So we're talking just under 500 bucks, uh, plus there'll be some shipping. But for that, the person is getting, let's say it again then. Laurie, I'll make sure I get that. You get the device, that nice little black pouch to put it in. Mm -hmm. You get a couple of leads and some finger electrodes. Oh, the Y electrode does come with it. You can either have the Y or the pencil. Some people are saying that they would prefer to have the pencil. We've got the Y electrode here, but, you know, um, it could be the pencil or the Y. Here's the Y. Right. Uh, Okay, we can see that. Now, listen, I'm a little bit troubled because I, I'm giving a URL here where people can go and find this device, and that's how, that's how you would purchase it and get your free ebook. It also tells you about the Avaxia Life on that page if you want that. Yes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out the slideshow in a minute because this is important. But for the moment, let me just say it's www.alternativedoctor, spent like that, dot com slash cosmetic cosmetic okay all lowercase so it's alternative doctor.com forward slash cosmetic uh, now, uh, melissa melissa has a, a flashed a little notice on the bottom of the screen where she says will you be teaching a course in this anytime soon yes we're coming to that yes <laughs> to that <laughs> uh Okay, so, oh, this is the one with the lights. That's why the price is different. Yes. Uh, it's the a, a special model that has the photodynamics. And that's, that, I mean, that's a, a very well worthwhile addition. Okay, it's just that, you know, whether the person can afford the extra, what is it, bucks for this, all this extra technology. If you can afford it, get it, because it's wonderful. But if you're, you know, you're on a tight budget, the basic kit is fine, but this is the deal for, 
the kit, the photodynamic lights. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to talk about a training that's coming up. Uh, first of all, there are some online trainings anyway. We will direct you to you know, video trainings. Uh, but we've decided, the three of us, that we're going to, to do a microcurrent, not just cosmetic, but a microcurrent therapy training uh, at my house in March. It'll be at the home of Viv and I, and uh, John and Laurie will be the tutors. So just a couple of orange. We're not going to be working in the dining room, of course. We have a classroom here at the house. <laughs> it's going to be March the 24th to the 26th. Now, you chose those dates, guys. What days are Is that a weekend? It'll be a Friday to Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so uh, do you have a, a price in mind? I mean, I couldn't put it up because we haven't decided, had we? What do you think? Should they... Yeah, it's, uh, for more details, or do you want to throw it off the cuff? How do you want to do it? Well, one of the things one of the things that we found to be important is is uh, in in training, because this technology is so important, and is it is the, uh, the technology that is changed that is changing the practice of medicine, and I say that not lightly. Uh, the National Institutes of Health have invested $250 million to develop the same technology. The uh, DARPA, which is your Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, have actually invested $50 million to develop the same technology. They're looking at the peripheral nervous system, including the brain, as a new way to be able to affect the cure. Um, you look at people like uh, Scientific America, are actually talking about the change from pharmaceuticals to microcurrent technology to affect the cure in the future. We, uh, I find this so amazing that people need to know about this. Yeah. So we're going to do three solid days of intensive training. This is good for people who only just bought a device or for people who've had one for several years and would like to tone up their skills, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we go through an introduction and um, a level one, really, and we'll add the cosmetology this time as well. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, listen, I'm going to come out of the slideshow because I'm very concerned that you see. Ah, there it is. Oh, I see, I see now why it's off the, off the Richter scale. Ah, there you uh, go. It's too big. Let me, let me reduce that to about 32. And then, there we go. Uh, then it will appear where it should be. You get that out, so it's just clear of the other writing. So that's where you'd go to get a device, all right? Alternative-doctor.com cosmetic. Uh, the training, you'll need to get in touch with us, but the training is going to be the 24th, 25th, and 26th of March. And we charge 375 for the training for the three days. Oh, good. I was going to say, I forgot that. Yeah, and you get to meet Viv and, and, and Keith for that. That's <laughs> Let's put it in here then, all right? That's three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yes. Uh, um, well, that's great. So uh, you're at the house. Uh, obviously, you have to get here and find yourself some accommodation. There's plenty of inexpensive accommodation nearby. Plenty of flashy accommodation if you want to do that. But we have a, a beautiful house and home. Plenty of room, and we, it's easy to run workshops. You would, uh, you know, bring your swim shorts. We have a lovely pool and jacuzzi outside. Uh, wet bars in every room just about so it's, you know we'll enjoy the facility we'll enjoy welcoming you here as guests uh, and Lorraine will be staying with us anyway so we'll probably go on till well past bedtime each day <laughs> talking over stuff for anyone that wants to stay and talk with us and we'd love to see you all that. okay now uh, questions will generally add another half to three quarters of an hour I guess uh, I'm not actually seeing them because I've had my screen full with the slides. Can you guys access the questions? Yeah, yeah we've yeah. answered some of them as they come up, but we don't see any others at the moment. Yeah, one of them that came up was, um, how about um, uh, dental implants? Will it affect it in any way? It will affect anything that, that will actually form bone will reinforce your implants so that they don't fall out in a couple of years. We've got one <laughs> come up now that says, does this work with cellulite? Yes, we use it as lymphatic drainage. So, yes, we can affect the cellulite. 
I'm probably still sharing my screen, so why don't I stop that? Uh, you guys stay there visibly. I, I, I'm still visible, but I mean, the slide screen is gone now. Uh, all right, let's make sure we, you, well, scroll, make sure you've dealt with them all. You said you were dealing with most of them, yeah? Oh, we were dealing with them as they were coming up. We were hoping, yeah. I was, I was, yeah, I was trying to bring them into the conversation. <laughs> Why are the sides so small? Can't see them. Well, it fully filled my screen and everybody else's. So I think it, that must be that person's uh, computer doing something weird. Uh, we are going to have a recording. I mean, there is a recording going on of this uh, this event. So uh, you know, when we post it, you'll be able to watch it. And see the slides. You, know, you can, you know, when you video replays, you can blow the screen up to full size on your own computer. I right. know so who's, we did who's have there? a lot of people from the UK and some from India that were asking, would you do a, re would you have the recording and send it out to your database? Oh yes, yes indeed. Yeah. Yes. Now look at this, folks. Daniel Kirsch was known as the father of electromedicine. 1980s, my goodness, the Russian crowd went back long before that. They were in the 70s, weren't they? And in any case, you know, electricity or electrical medicine, not electronic, uh, goes back to uh, about the 18th century, in fact. And by the 19th century, it was all being denounced as garbage. You know, it's all rubbish, the idea that, you know, you rub electrical electrodes over your skin and it's going to do anything. People were called frauds and crooks and all sorts of nasty, wicked words. And yet, you know, now at the beginning of the 21st century, orthodox medicine has gone exactly in that direction and they found that electrical currents will do all sorts of things. For those of you that uh, came on late, uh, I was introducing some work that's just been done now, showing that, in fact, I didn't finish, John, but I, I meant to say, and it's back to Robert Becker's work, but they were finding that if they broadcast electrical signals through the body, that they could get union of bone, they could get restructuring. It was great on animals. We hadn't got that far as we can yet grow a leg or a limb on a human being, but I think I'm right in saying that we're not very far away from that. Now, and he's dropped with these clans that electricity is important. We might actually get something out of them because, of course, that's the whole information we want to transmit to a healing body. It's no good transmitting, you know, Prozac or aspirin or anything like that. We want energetic healing modes, and that's what we do. This is what these, these devices do. Okay, take over with the questions, folks, and make sure you feel you've answered them all. So their satisfaction or your satisfaction, the best you can. can you, have you got a scroll mechanism? I don't have any other questions coming up here, do you? Oh, okay, I might be seeing some that you're not. I can see 24 as a number on the question and answer at the bottom. Can we the click screen. on it? Does it do anything? If you click on that, John? Not if I, because I don't have the screen control. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I, I've got it now. Unfortunately, I'm not oh. sure. Oh, here we go. Oh. Have you got it? Yes, I do. Yes. Oh, this is good. So, anonymous viewer, right? As you age. Yeah, as you age. Uh, I think we. How can we possibly deal with extra skin? Well, more collagen. Anyway, go on, you guys answer that. Because, yes, as you age, there are two major problems the weakening of facial muscles and the drooping of skin due to continued growth of skin. I can see the easy system correcting the weak muscles. But how can you possibly deal with the extra skin? It would only be firming it up. I think what we're doing is we're, uh, like I mentioned earlier on, the muscle, the facial muscles, the skin itself on the face is not that thick. Uh, if you if you shore up the muscles, the, it will take up the slack, if you will, uh, uh, as the skin continues to grow. And one of the interesting stuff, and I used to remember. Um, what was the fellow's name who lived to be 99 years old? And George Burns, where I remember his ears kept on growing and his nose kept on growing. <laughs> and his head seemed to get smaller. So he was all nose and ears. <laughs> and he said, you know, if I would have known I was going to live to be 99, I would have taken better care of myself. <laughs> That's true. That's a sad, you know, a sad aspect of aging for many people. They didn't expect to live this long. And they wish they had, but then it's somewhat too late. However, we can do an awful lot for good looks. That's what we're saying. Is uh, yeah, Are there any clinical trials with microcurrent that quantifies a percentage reduction in wrinkles or fine lines? Now, the interesting thing is that it is not part of that FDA control in the States or even in Canada. 
in our health counter. Uh, cosmetics is, is almost like the animal field. It is taken out of their hands. And uh, we have to look for research with the doctors of cosmetics uh, and, and cosmetic surgeons would rather get the money involved in a surgical facelift than to spend money on electrical stimulation, which is giving them only pennies on the dollar compared to surgery. There's no incentive to do it, really. I don't know of any. Yeah. Uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of follow the bottom line, and that will give you your answer. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of good science on the obvious benefits of microcurrent therapy. Yeah. There's now stacks of it. I don't think it's in any way naughty or dishonest to move that sideways and say, well, it must apply to skin in cosmetology, not just skin in wound healing. You know, we showed some spectacular wound healing slides early last year in the big webinar. There's no question that, you know, you could do a skin graft and have it heal in four or five days instead of three weeks. So why can't you translate that information sideways to cosmetology? Well, the answer is, of course, you can. Yes. I did mention, uh, I did mention at the beginning that uh, my specialty is accelerated wound healing. And, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm writing my thesis on that same subject and the book that should soon be out. And what we see in, in wound healing basically is... Uh, a slowed down wound healing is always caused by inflammation. It's always also caused by hypoxia, which is a lack of oxygen, a lack of blood flow. And I, I mentioned earlier on that if you increase blood flow, you increase oxygen to the cells that are involved in the production of new cells. And this is the same whether you're doing wound healing that where you can see or you're actually bringing blood flow to the body, you're going to get the same results. Wound healing can go from, we did a study on 100 people with diabetic ulcer, diabetic foot, where normally three months, six months, nine months later, they were, they were getting peripheral neuropathy and all kinds of different diseases end up, ended up getting their feet chopped off. And here we have in 30 days, they all got better simply with microcurrent. So yes, it, it, it will accelerate uh, uh, the creation of new cells. And also in, in, in increase uh, the production of nitric oxide, which increases vasodilation and signals to the cardiovascular system. So you're getting a lot more oxygen by, by doing this sort of technology. So would it be safe for someone with cancer to use? The only thing that I would be wary of is using it on a tumor where you're increasing blood flow to the tumor itself. So that, that you want to stay away from these active cancerous tumors. There are so many other parts of the body that you can stimulate where you can stimulate the immune system. Okay. All right, John. Let's, uh, keep, uh, you know, quite a few answers. Did you answer my friend Wolfgang, who's in New Zealand? He's asking about the frequencies of pulsed infrared or colored lights. Okay, yeah, this one. I think you did talk about the, the certainly frequencies on the Avatia Life. Uh, there is, is there a frequency choice on the Easy Lift? Or is it just a... It actually changes with the uh, um, with the program. If you go to face stim, face smooth, eye stim, uh, eye stim, and eye smooth, these are all different frequencies. Right, uh, Wolfgang, we better answer you, I think, by text afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could, you, could you demonstrate? Come on, if you've got one handy, please show us. Susan wants to say, could you show us how to use it on the face? It's very easy. You got one nearby? I, I have one that I'm going to, um, this is a professional unit, the ProSport 3, and it has all of the uh, um, programs within it. And I'll put this on for Lori so she can actually show you how to work it. Well, you don't even need to switch it on for a demo. Come on, don't get too technical. On me? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, go. yes, you want to do it on me. You can do it on me. So, <laughs> hey, I need it more than you do. You do it here. <laughs> so I usually start by working in this way. I usually smooth first. So I would be working up like this. Does it tingle, John? No, I think it, 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 there's a control on the power where she can keep it. I could turn it right up and, and yeah. Give, uh, sorry, and give it boss. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> but I, I usually like it so I can feel it 
quite strongly, but that's just how I like it. You don't have to have it like that. You could just have it so you have that very faint tingling sensation, yeah, which is it, very pleasant. It feels good, actually. It's pleasant, not painful. That's the thing. Yeah. That. yeah. And yeah. then if I have an area that I feel needs more work on, you can just hold it still and then you can put it in, um, you know, in one of the different programs, stimulation, either the face or the eye stimulation. It'd be the eye stimulator. Yeah. yeah. And then you would just hold it there. And then after perhaps a minute, you can then smooth out the area. So then you go to eye smooth and smooth yeah. out. So it's so easy to use. You know, I mean, if you were if you were actually connecting and using the pencil, you see for these. Uh, have you got a probe? I mean, a wire handy. I do have a wire. Could you show them how it's assembled, please. Do you want to give me the wire, John? Uh, yes. Yeah. The side. Yes, kind of yeah. So you therefore bring it into view. Right, there you go. So you no, no, a bit more to your right. A bit more to your there you are. So yeah. you plug in the wire. So you plug it in here, and then you have a little pencil probe. Say. Yeah. So if you were going to put the pencil in, you would then. Yeah, you plug the camera over there. We have to look at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see you don't you could just put the device either on the table or in the pouch and put the pouch in your pocket or pouch attached to your belt and then uh, you, if you plug the wire and it disconnects those electrodes doesn't it yes it does yeah okay so it's okay. almost foolproof really yeah almost <laughs> except when i'm using it <laughs> yeah you did say foolproof <laughs> So you just sort of can work in the areas like this. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like doing a painting, a body yeah, shadow. Yeah. So these ones here. I have ones there. Oh, you have ones there. Yeah. Stop <laughs> frowning. <laughs> uh, see? So it's it's very easy to use. And I tend to just use it when I'm busy. You know, when I'm busy doing something for the kids, I'll be running around the house and I'll be like, you know, sort of working on my face or holding it under my eyes or whatever. So you don't even need to be just doing this. You could be watching the TV. You could be listening to the, to music. You know, you could just be sitting there relaxing. You don't need to be, oh, I've got to do this whole protocol and I have to do this and I have to do that. Just work on the areas that you're uncomfortable with, the areas that you feel that you need at the time. It's simple. Right. Okay, Marianne Sanchez, can the device still be used on your neck? Yes, that's a great answer. Yes. Yeah, we have that. Eh? Device induce organ failure by the meridians. Uh, Jeffrey Dowell yeah. has that. That seems like a good question, but it's actually back to front, Jeffrey. Yeah, it? this one is from Marianne. You're not going to show, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the points on the neck. That's the color platysma. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so, so but Jeffrey, no, you can't cause organ failures. The opposite, the whole of Chinese medicine is, I mean, it's a natural concern, but I think, I think you know, people would try and scare people. Oh, you know, you must do that. Oh, that's not safe. Yeah. All that horrible yeah. watching. Who is Jeffrey, it? yeah, yeah. Je Jeffrey, Jeffrey would have been possibly right if he was using uh, what we call TENS devices. The well, tens, yeah. Yeah, very bad news. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the frequency is a thousand times stronger than microcurrent. This this current is exactly what your brain and your heart are using, so it won't induce any more than what your brain is inducing right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's specifically, I remind you, it's called microcurrent, very very tiny current, compared to tens, which is zap current standard, isn't it? Basically. <laughs> Uh, Kat Miller check, is there any pain involved with using the device? No, turn it down if it hurts. Yeah, yeah I mean, no, you, you really just need to feel a very gentle sensation. It's so gentle that, you know, I mean, some people don't even decide not to really feel it. It still works. They don't necessarily have to feel any major sensation. I just happen to like mine a bit higher because I like to feel the pull on my skin. Okay, good. All right, do you get the ebook with the Avatsia Life? Well, I think the special tonight only. <laughs> if you do, if you buy as a result of this webinar, yes, we'll supply you with the free ebook. Not yes. print version. Don't normally, it's only for you, Keith. It's only for your people. <laughs> only my people. So there you go, Dini Lamb. Got a favor for you there. Kat Millichak again. I should just jump. Where are we? Oh, yes. Does it require a prescription? 
No, no, no. It, it belongs to the class of vanity devices, so it does no. not. Vanity, looking good, vanity. Cosmetology. <laughs> That's vanity, bring it on. Can it help stretch marks? Oh, that's a good one, I don't yeah, know. It can, yes, yes. Same, uh, you know, you're still working like I was on, okay. on yeah. the areas of the face, you're just working on those stretch marks, like scars, so mm. you can work mm. along them. All right, mother of five, I guess you've got one or two, babe, have you? I and she doesn't have, have a wrinkle on her mark. whole body. I do. No, not in her face. And look at the hair, it's au naturel. Hey. <laughs> and I, I had, he looks after me. And, the, and I, you've got to remember, I've had these devices for 17 years. And five children. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I'm lucky to have had these devices. Yes, in, indeed. Can it fix droopy eyelids? Well, let's make sure it's not um, myasthenia gravis. But if it's not myasthenia gravis, Loretta, then, no, not Loretta, sorry, this is Gail asked that question. There's, a, there's an answer to that. I vote your eyes properly, and it's called myasthenia gravis, and it's serious. But the providing it's not, what's your answer? The uh, droopy eyelid thing is sometimes connected to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And when you get a knot in that muscle, one of the symptoms is actually droopy eyelid. Huh? Okay, so loosening the knots or working on yeah. the... Working on the side of the neck over the sternocleidomastoid muscle would, would help relax that. Right. Here's a great question, Lord John Hampstead. Can it be used on my hands? They age me more than my face. You do see that. Poor old thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, your hands got to look a bit older. Yeah. 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 On your hands, maybe right up here. Yeah, you just use it on your hand. Then you don't need to have wrinkles. Yeah. Wow. You don't need to have that dry, creepy skin on your hands either. Just use it there. Yeah. Okay. DDS. And Loretta has asked, can you use the ProSport 3 device? It's actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, yeah. Right. yeah I was making the point, various other devices will do it. Yeah. To just know where to put it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we've done any research on cancer cells. Yes, if you bring uh, any degree of uh, electrical current to cancer cells, it potentially can stimulate them. Robert Becker said that. But you heard John say, don't go near a cancer or a tumor. D, I don't know who that is. The US FDA requires microcurrent to be acquired with a medical doctor's prescription, not sold otherwise. Uh, we don't have any problem with this. The devices come from Canada, from Vancouver Island, where John and Lorraine live, and we have no trouble and don't foresee any trouble. You can also get on a big bus and get cheaper pharmaceutical drugs here at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll send it to you. You don't have to come and pick it up in Vancouver. But no, the, the uh, prescription thing is not an issue. Not an issue. It's a cosmetic device anyway. So well, well, yeah, it's not considering the Abaxia Live, which yeah, is yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, prices in US dollars? Yes, they are. Uh, is there any way to get certified if you're not a member of a medical community? Well, again, we need to separate the bits of this question out, Gwyn. Uh, if you're buying the Easy Lift, which is a cosmetic device, you don't need license, FDA approval, certificate, yeah. anything else. It's entirely up to you, and you can do all your neighbors. You've got absolutely no restriction. If you made what I think is a good choice and moved up to the Avatia Life, because it has huge healing potential, then you can use it on your friends, and football teams use these things, don't scanners and things, don't they, John? Uh, you don't need to be a licensed doctor or a licensed practitioner to do it. Um, but you will need, uh, if you do that, you will need a medical prescription uh, if you're going to actually practice with it. What, uh, can you confirm that? What's the actual ruling? You know, my, you know better than me, even though I live here. I don't, I don't have control of course, being licensed. But. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it's in the States, it's considered a type 2 um, a medical device. It's a, it's a 510K, not exempt, but it is a 510K because it's predicated on the uh, what we call the TENS device. Yeah, even though it's not, and we don't... Oh, it's not a TENS device at all. So they lump it together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, well, she, uh, just to finish, Gwyn, she's asking, could you use this as a commercial money-making opportunity? In cosmetology, most certainly. You, yeah. you know, have friends and neighbours around and open yourself a store on the high street and you'll find people... I mean, anyone that's willing to go for Botox and pay good money will come and pay you. <laughs> You'd be running, yeah, they'd be farming a queue. You'd have a queue around the block, yeah. 
Does the instruction book give you all the uses for the Avaxia Life and all the settings? The answer is there is an Avaxia Life booklet which answers those questions. They're not in the cosmetology book, are they? No, they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Harim Kola asked, did you mention another device that has more frequencies? Yes, we did. It's called the Avaxia Life. Or there's a big fancy professional model. If you're a, something like a Cairo or an osteopath or something, you should get the professional device. It'll work miracles. Trust me, absolute miracles. Is, is it the same one that uh, that I use and uh, that I train my therapists with, with the doctors that come into our trainings? It's the same one that Keith has. Fifty-three different algorithms, including everything from chakras to acupuncture meridians, acupuncture points. It has it has uh, everything from anti-inflammatory to blood uh, increase of blood flow and perfusion. These are real professional units that uh, the medical field are enjoying using. Okay. Frank Milicic's busy with her questions. Does it come with a warranty? I suppose a lot of people are thinking that. So let's yeah. ask it's, it's made in the USA. It's made in Dallas, Texas, so that we have a full American. Uh, you don't have to worry about parts coming in from overseas uh, on a slow boat. <laughs> <laughs> if we have a repair uh, to repair your device, it's almost done. You can ship it in overnight and you ship it back out. So it you have a full with, one year warranty. Yeah, it has a one year warranty, yeah. but, 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 but we mentally we think of it longer than that. I mean, yeah. they're very, very well made anyway. These yes, are, I mean, we, we've had devices after four or five years when people have dropped them in something or whatever and they, they the factory repaired them. Yeah. They, uh, they want to be loved and want to look after us, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, anyone know what lontophoresis is? Do you know what that is, John? Yes, what the hell is lontophoresis? Is that a spelling, a spelling mistake or a hole in my knowledge? Lontophoresis. This is my friend Wolfgang Yanata in oh, Mafton in New Zealand. Uh, type us in what the hell lontophoresis is, is. <laughs> Wolfgang, and we'll answer your question. Check in the app to see if I'm, if I'm going to fix their kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just uh, take a short breather to reiterate the uh, web page where you go to get yourself one of these devices or an Avaxia Life. It's my website, alternative-doctor.com, and then forward, forward slash cosmetic in lowercase. Just yeah. the word cosmetic, not cosmetology or anything. Just the word cosmetic. I, I, I was suspicious about iontophoresis is actually... Oh, <laughs> ionto, not long term. Yeah, ah, all right. Sweating of the hands, you know, profusion, profuse sweating of the hands. Yeah, yeah. And when I look at, you need, you need a little bit more stimulation in your kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> Hyperhidrosis, I would have known. Yeah, hydrosis. Yeah. Art, Art Davis... Uh, is this kind of work subject to the sort of strictures that massage and body work and all that stuff, touching bodies and so on, are supposed to be off limit and so on for anyone who's not a licensed professional? These poor people living in America are told what they can do, what they can think, who they can touch, where they've got to stand, practically what clothes they've got to wear. You have to have a license to do something unusual. It's hard work for people here, and it's really sad. But again, I repeat, cosmetology, you don't need any certification, qualification, licensing, diplomas, or anything else. Just get a device, get a book, and fix how you look. And if you want to help friends how they look, that's fine too, okay? Uh, Melissa, what's Melissa saying? Is she, is she back at the top? Who's this? No, no, I just got a, a note of a message from Melissa, so she must be at the bottom there. I'm trying to find her. Oh, iontophoresis, the transfer of pharmaceuticals through the skin. Oh, oh that's interesting. Uh, dear Mr. Microphoresis. <laughs> How much is the professional do? Oh, yeah, we didn't say that. The professional, well, the, prof the professional do. Hold it up, John. Hold it up. It's, it's about 3,000 bucks, isn't it? 3,200 or something. It's a yeah, oh, this one is 4,295. And then there is one that is 2,995. What about the one with the kit? Is the it, kit. You're saying that's with the kit? I was going to say there is a kit to have as well. Yeah, that's right. So it comes with the kit and all the probes and the, yeah. the whiz bangs and things. But the Avaxia Life that we showed is what, 1250? 
And again, yes. there's a kit of bits if you want them. And that's 1850. With the kit. With the kit. Yeah, yeah. With the hard case and all of the tools yes. and all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Paraphernalia. Uh, can this device alleviate the collagen destruction of Lyme's disease? Well, there is a there is a product that's interesting out there, that I, and one of the only products I've seen on the market is called Limex, and it is a homeopathic remedy that they say will alleviate the symptoms of Lyme's disease. Well, I think she wasn't just saying the symptoms are; she was saying the collagen destruction. Collagen destruction. I to say that's a blank in my. My knowledge too. It, it is. I, I I didn't know that limes cause the destruction of collagen. Yeah, you could be careful because a lot of people call limes anything that has to do with chronic fatigue and autoimmune disease. They don't confine it to infection with Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the only real Lyme disease. Of course. Uh, can he use? Can it be used with a conductive gel? Yes, you just have to turn it down a bit because it comes out a bit harder. <laughs> Uh, Jim Smith, the microcurrent is re is, if it's realigning collagen and rebuilding elastin, is it not then sustainable? In other words, in each session, building upon the results of prior sessions, or are you effectively starting from ground zero with each session? Good question. Okay, for my personal one. Is it not then this is sustainable? I think. I think it, it becomes a, a lot more sustainable. I, will it fix it on the first swipe over it? Uh, if you kept that long enough, but most people will use a minimal amount of time. So maybe the second, the third treatment that they use, we're getting more and more collagen alignment. But collagen are made of cells, and cells have a tendency over time, depending on if you're sitting out there all day sunning yourself, or you're standing in front of a speedboat submitted to high winds <laughs> or with helmetless on your motorcycle. All of these elements have a tendency to dry out the skin and cause collagen problems. So if, depending on your lifestyle, if, if you go back to your normal lifestyle, you may need to do it more often to sustain it. But, you know, I find that once you've actually got a handle on, on how you want to look and how you want your skin to be, you do it less and less because it does have a sustainability. Right. Okay. Here's a cute one, Here's a cute one from <laughs> Julie. Look, from my angle, here John's face looks smoother where it was treated just now. Show us your good profile. Show us it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it looks, uh, it looks almost like, yeah. Compared to this one. Right in, <laughs> <laughs> right in front of your very eyes. <laughs> well spotted, Julie. <laughs> um, okay. So somebody here said my name is Olav and then has not said anything. So no question there. Uh, using, oh, using the Sports Pro 3, what setting to smooth the back of the hands? It's yeah, if you if you use a Pro Sport three, you have a, a program. Let me draw it up for you. So and you can go to the next question while I do this. Oops, I got it here. Uh, we want to be using uh, on the Pro Sport three. You have four programs, which are really the uh, the advice, the easy lift face stem. Face the one that Vivian was using. Ice in, in ice mode. You see, you've got it right, right in here. I think the light kind of lines it. Mm. But you have the same programs in this as you would have in the easy one. And you use those on the back. So you just have to go to the ice tip. But, but you have about 45, 50 other programs, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah Don't forget that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Um, uh, oh, Julie, who wanted to see the side of your face, says, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous, are there any concerns about using the kit with the lights around the eyes? Well, these are not, these are not lasers, are they? No. Lasers, I would, but you know what? They're using LED light to fix laser damage to the eyes. Yeah. yeah. And he's also asking a good question. Uh, is the Professional Sports Pro available on that? web page and the answer is i can't remember so i'm going to find out for you i don't keep know. talking among yourself <laughs> <laughs> okay so we have we yeah, have olaf he says my name is olaf <laughs> we, yeah can these do, be used to treat cataracts 
I, 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 I'm not quite sure because I have never treated somebody's cataracts yet. But, you know, it, it's, I find that a lot of uh, sugar diabetes, uh, type 2 diabetes people uh, and have a hard time controlling their blood sugar also have cataracts. So, um, and, and they will actually start out and they migrate across, right up across the eye mm -hmm. and they go blind until they remove that cataract. So I've never I, treated cataracts. And I think though, if you ended up having to have treatment for cataracts, it would treat, it, you would definitely could use the devices to treat the scarring. Yeah, definitely after you mm -hmm. want to do that. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. The standard easy lift do scars or do you need the Avasia Life? The easy lift as it do scars is certainly um there is a frequency for um for returning <laughs> scar tissue to its normal mm -hmm. hydrated state in a 77 hertz. Yes, so the easy lift doesn't actually carry the 77 hertz, no. No, the Avasia Life does. Yes. Okay, folks, now I've just been busy looking for an answer to one question on the web page. I've answered that. But did you get around to Maria Howard's, or somebody earlier asked as well, can it be, oh, it was a Jeffrey. Je our friend Jeffrey asked the same question, in effect. Uh, can, it, this is Jeffrey's wording, but the same question lower down. Can the device help grow thicker hair for women whose hair has gotten too thin? Well, that, yeah. That's yeah. the same question. They used to say at one time, the only thing to stop hair from falling was the floor. <laughs> and actually, if you increase blood flow to the matrix of the hair, you will find, you will find a possibility. It's the reason why we, we lose anything is because of a lack of blood flow. Except in male pattern baldness where some looks like that and that looks like that and so on and so forth. There's is kind of a genetic predisposition. But if you were balding on the on the top, on the top of the head, then that we, we would see an increase in the hair growth. Mm -hmm. So anywhere where we can actually increase blood flow, and uh, the problem with the, the, another story where they say, I have good news and bad news for you for male pattern baldness. If you cut off your gonads, you would actually grow hair. So that is the, 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 the bad news. And the good news is we can probably find you a job a singing in a choir. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Dear me, John. <laughs> All right, so, oh, listen, I don't think, uh, I think I got distracted with Daniel Kirsch. Uh, sorry, DD's question about Daniel Kirsch. At the end, there is a question, or, or he's made a comment, I've healed second degree burns completely within 15 minutes. Yeah, we've been there. Use cranially, microcurrent therapy helps reduce anxiety depression and insomnia. Well, we can all concur with that, can't we? I mean, that's the whole science of microcurrent therapy. Uh, it's marvelous, you know, that you can grow new skin, you can do wound healing, you can do injury repairs, and you can change psychological states in all sorts of ways. Uh, using the chakras, you can stir up all of the Chinese medicine model. You know, you could do crown chakras or face chakras, depending on what you've got in mind. There's different brain frequencies in the pro device, isn't there? They, that's the, you know, the expense of the $4,000 pro device with the 53 algorithms. I mean, there's just so much stuff in there. Plus, you can program several channels yourself, can't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, listen, I'm heading towards the end. We'll just keep an eye on any more interesting qu questions that come in. Um, but uh, just to reiterate some things, so the place you would go to buy, purchase a device is uh, www.alternative-doctor.com, that's my website, and chances are you know that because you're on my list, forward slash cosmetic, and the basic easy lift, the easy lift with color, and the Avaxia Life are listed there with their prices and how to buy them. Uh, to remind you that we are, uh, John and Laurie are coming to my home here in Las Vegas. We're all going to have a huge get together bash, which is going to be great fun, uh, in March. And it will be March 24th, 25th, and 26th. Uh, and it will cost you $375 for the three days of training. So, hey, listen, that's just, just over 100 bucks a day, isn't it? So, you've got to factor in traveling here and uh, you know, some accommodations. But I think that's going to be a great deal. You'll get more information about that by writing to Vivian. If you reply to any of my emails, you'll see it says Scott Mumby Wellness. 
at gmail.com. That goes straight to Vivian's desk, and you'll get all the answers that you're looking for from there. If you want to contact John and Lorraine and ask more questions, and that always happens, you're very welcome to do that. And there, what do you, which do you want? The CEO email? CEO at Pacific Health Options. Okay. CEO, short for Chief Executive Officer, uh, at PacificHealthOptions.com. And he will, of course, answer all of your questions. Uh, right, to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, I think we've had a good, we've had some good value out of you guys. I think I squeezed your brains dry just about. <laughs> um, oh, from Julie Clayson or Clason uh, at the end there. No, I'm seeing it here. Where are you, Julie? Uh, oh, wait, oh, are the face mask and eye masks available on your site? Yes, they are. Yes. But do you want to put them on your site, Keith? Uh, yes, I, I, I don't see why not, but I can't do that for two days. I mean, my team could probably get around to it tomorrow, but I couldn't guarantee that. Um, they write to Vivian and say they want those, yeah. and we can make sure that that happens. We're, we're very laid back. We don't have any of this, you know, you've got 48 hours to buy. Yeah. That's <laughs> taking it down forever and ever. <laughs> just ask. Uh, mm -hmm. As I just said, Vivian is your contact point. For all things, she gets bombarded. She does. Scott, it's Scott Mumby Wellness with no dots or dashes, just all one word. Scott Mumby Wellness at gmail.com. All right, quick one. Jennifer Capabianca. Does it work on brown spots? Yeah, the green light uh, works on those brown spots. Hey, they're more typical aging spots, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Does it? Any good? Uh, you you would need the photodynamic one with the green lights. Right, and that the same uh, anonymous also asks, can this help eliminate dark patches of skin? Yeah. But what about vitiligo? That's a, that's a troubling one for many people. It just means uh, skin skin color is altered. If you're a black person, it often means white patches, and if you're a white person, yeah. often I believe, black I, patches are even whiter patches. <laughs> but it's a real nuisance. What do you think? I think I think it's a it's a play between the thyroid, I believe, and and the kidneys, um, uh, which is responsible for uh, melatonin transformer. You know, as a quick answer, you, you can't say just rubbing it on your vitiligo is going to be. No, no. no. I know you'd say that it's a real bitch to solve that condition, actually. Yeah, it is. Uh, but you know, generalized just discoloration and so. Uh, all right, qu quick last one: Are the LED lights safe? There are some articles that say they're harmful. Listen, there are articles out there that say wiping your backside is harmful or dangerous. <laughs> you know, you've got to take a view. I don't know where these people pretend their expertise or what medical school they went to. But, you know, you're not shining it in your eye like this anyway. It's really stupid if you did. You are using leads or pads near your face here. And if you saw the picture, if you've got the electrodes here, the light is underneath, so it would be shining on my cheek. <laughs> uh, otherwise, light is one of the most healing and restorative things in all of nature. Isn't it remarkable? The electromagnetic spectrum, which completely controls and indeed structures and dictates our universe, is almost all unfriendly to life, except one tiny little bit which is light and infrared, which is warmth. So there's this tiny bit of uh, bio-friendly light and warmth, and the rest is gonna zap you like microwaves and you know, EMFs, uh, uh, X-rays and gamma rays. Isn't it, doesn't it strike you as extraordinary, John? This tiny, tiny little range of so bio-friendly frequencies. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember reading up on uh, who won Nobel Prizes for what. And I remember reading about Nils Finsen, who has a statue of himself in front of a major hospital in downtown London for having discovered the cure for, for lupus. Did you ever read about that? No, I didn't. I don't know his story. But... He was actually, you know, he was using white light at the time. <laughs> yeah. And, and because white light actually is a composition of all the colors. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what we're doing when we, we shine white light through a, a Crystal, for example, you get the colors of the rainbow, which is the same thing as shining sunlight through raindrops. <laughs> you get the colors of the rainbow. So if you break down the white light, uh, the different colors of light, or if you put them all together, become white light again. You know, 
Right. And the sunlight, of course, is essentially white light. I know the sun looks yellow because it's passing through cloud layers and so on. But it's so intensely hot, the light is near enough that it makes no difference. The white light is very powerful and biologically helpful. Of course. We use, yes, we use blue light for yellow for, for, for jaundice. In yeah. Yeah. Remember our young one when she was born, remember we rushed her to the hospital and she has developed jaundice. And they said, not a big deal. We just put her in this little <laughs> light receptacle and, and she'll be fine. And she was. She, she was fine. Great. You use white light, you must not use blue light. Folks, I'm going to draw an official veil over it now. The correspondence, I'm sure, will continue. You've obviously created another storm of interest as before, so we'll all be hammering out emails for the next week. Uh, but don't worry, folks, we will answer your questions. Stay in touch. Get yourself a thing and start working. If you've got any aspirations to look younger, trust me, this works. It does work. Whether you're male or female, it works. Yes. Well, we saw uh, direct evidence before our very eyes of it working yes. the male skin, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And by the way, there's another question from Didi. And uh, yes, we did not include blue light in, in the base of the device. Although it, uh, there are other studies from NASA that actually showed that blue light will kill MRSA and blue staph infection. Yeah, but it, it's yeah. not in the cosmetics. It's not device. in the cosmetics. Yeah. yeah. Well, one thing you don't want to do is kill living organisms on your skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the big mistakes that the cosmetic company makes. Yeah. You slap yeah. crap on your skin and it kills the natural flora. Yeah. It's yeah. really not good. Never mind what it does to your poor old liver when it gets absorbed through the skin. Anyway, okay, so an official stop, an official end. I've got to thank you guys a million fold. It's always great when I work with you. I look forward to doing this workshop in March. Uh, there may not be another webinar between now and then, but anyway, it will come up very soon. We'll do another massive microcurrent therapy one, you know, the full on healing device. Nice to talk with you and thank everybody for coming on the call. Uh, it was a great turnout tonight. Uh, and. Um, well, everything just went well. Uh, we'll be posting a recording, so you can always look at it again or recommend it to your friends. I'll send out the links. And that was it. That's it. A wonderful webinar. Thank you to the Hashes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Looking forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, we'll party some. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.